What's up, everybody, and welcome in to another edition of The Sit Down. As always, if you enjoy this breaking news story, please make sure you hit that like button and let me know what you think of today's discussion in the comment section below. If you're new around here, you just haven't done it yet. Were you living under a rock and seeing this video for the first time? I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit that subscribe button below now so you never miss another sit down video. As I said, this is a breaking news story. I am your host. Jeff Nadeau. We are here live breaking it down for you. Recently, mob associate Gene Morello was arrested yet again in Florida. Let's delve in to what exactly happened here out of Tampa, Florida. Now, this is a tale of two stories. We all know that Gene Morello has had his fair share of bad behavior over the years, and this dates back about six months. Now, nearly six months ago at Boyan, which is in Tampa, it's a high-end restaurant, Gene Borello got into some sort of, at one point, verbal altercation with a waiter or some sort of bartender. I believe it was a bartender, to which the bartender told him to, you know, suck my dick, basically. You know, that's Gene's favorite phrase at times, but this phrase was said to Gene. Gene then said that he got a glass and attempted to hit the bartender over the head with the glass. Now the glass would miss the bartender and a little spat would ensue. Now Gene at that point was given, you know, was was given a, a misdemeanor charge. He was then said to report the court. He didn't report the court. And on Saturday in Tampa, he was arrested was inside for about six hours and released on assault and battery charges. Now, this is his booking photo. This was on Saturday. Now, Gene will have to appear at a court date at a later date. Now, you're probably asking, why was he arrested uh, twice? Well, Gene was supposed to go to court. He didn't go. A warrant was issued, and he was taken into custody. Now, Gene claims that the glass did not hit the guy, but again, another arrest for Gene Barella, who's paraded out uh, in front uh, of people there, and uh, he'll then have to face a court date. Now, this is just another added case to the litany of charges that Gene Barella has had over the years. We know here on this channel, there at some points has been no love lost with Gene. That said, he's in his 40s, and I hope at some point Gene has a normal life. Now, again, this could happen to all of us. But this doesn't happen to all of us. I really hope Gene takes at some point some of the gifts that he still has, i.e. his ability to conversate, his ability to have success, and put it into something worthwhile. Because this constant back and forth with the law is problematic. Gene, I think, at times is a danger to himself and his continued behavior. Make that clear. I don't want to see Gene Barella in prison. and. The truth of the matter is, I know a lot of people want to see him fail. I don't. Gina said some very bad shit about me and my family. That said, I wish him all the best. I really do. I don't want to have any beef with the guy. He came on my show a couple of weeks ago. We had some issues. Gene was intoxicated, and Gene did some things that I don't think he's proud of. That said, we've always, him and I, had a pretty good relationship. But this is sometimes the problem with some of these guys. Um, the continued criminality is something that always follows them. And for Gene, it always has. Again, this is Gene's booking photo out of the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Remember, Hillsborough County is where Tampa is. Um, I also will add Gene did send me some information saying that his lawyer is a top attorney and will likely get him out of this and that this is a misdemeanor. And originally, he was given a court date and missed the court date. But he didn't know that Florida does it differently and they mail you something saying that you have to appear in court and that he, quote, never got it. A warrant was issued and he had to pay for that uh, warrant from uh, that charge he took six months ago. Um, so this is something Gene's going to have to deal with. Gene's going to have to face again. This isn't the first case Gene's faced after his time in New York. Obviously, he had did some time in the federal system for his violation of supervised release, but Gene's no longer on supervised release. He's no different than you, me, or anybody else. 
again, bar fights happen, things happen. Um, but this is just another occurrence in the life of Gene Barello. This has been the sit down breaking news. I am your host, Jeff Nadu. What do you think of this situation? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, Wednesday night, July 24th, I'm going to have Lewis Kasman back on the show. That's going to be a live. So make sure you tune into that. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below.